So I haven't been making videos really lately because my computer has been acting up. It's running super slow, and when I try to make a couple videos, I delete them because it was saying that I had faulty issues, or that it was uh, bad quality. So hopefully this video turns out okay. Um, I'm just doing one quick one before I go and get ready for bed because i got a long day of work tomorrow and I had a long day of work today. But I just recently listed an item of a raccoon penis bone. And I got a lot of responses on it on my Facebook page. Um, I guess a lot of people haven't heard of using raccoon penis bones and um, in their magical work or anything. So um, I got a lot of questions like, have I actually uh, hunted down a raccoon myself or um, if I picked it out of roadkill or... Um, and a lot of, most of them were, I had no idea that raccoons had penis bones, so I had to, I sent a link to them to uh, show them that most mammals, except for um, humans, and there's some other animals as well, have penis bones. Even um, a close relative of ours, the great ape, has a penis bone. And uh, a lot of the men, I think, <laughs> were surprised. And then um, I quoted it, um, I took it off Wikipedia, I can't pronounce it, it's like baculum or something, um, that it actually... Pro, um, supposedly prolongs and increases the sexual potency. And I can see that having a an actual bone inside of your your little friend could uh, help a great deal. I think. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Um, but here is the raccoon penis bone. So you can see it better instead of just a picture. See the comparison of the size. So um, yeah, it's really. Let's see how. My computer is always lagging behind, so sorry if I like pause for weird moments. Um, but it's also known as a coondong, um, a love bone, Texas toothpick, Spanish bone. There's tons of different names depending on where you're from and the practices with it. Um, I'm sure you could use other penis bones as well, but this seems to be uh, not the, I don't know if you want to say popular bone, <laughs> but I'm the one most used in hoodoo. And I'm sure there's other practices as well, but that's where I had learned about it from when I was uh, from a hoodoo study that I was doing, or that I from studying hoodoo. Um, so penis bones are given from a boy or a man to his um, to his lady love to a girl or a woman, and it's supposed to be seen as like a, either a love token or a love amulet. Depends on who you ask or what information you read. Some will say that him giving the penis bone to a woman kind of as like a, a putting a love spell on her. Another one says it's a symbolism, it's a token of love. And then um, also women could wear it around, it was given as a gift. Women could tie a string on it and wear it around their necks. And I'm sure that's it has the same sort of thing, either a love token or like a love amulet of sorts. Um, I was actually going to wear it in my hair because I've been trying to do buns recently because I made some hair, I've been making a lot of hair sticks. Let's see if I have some right here. For my, uh, for the witches of San Diego, for my fundraising stuff, these are just black ones of gold glitter. So and, um, but I have anemia issues, so my hair is very thin, it falls out easy. Um, it's inherited anemia condition, um, so I don't want to like putting a ponytail because it gives me headaches. But I have, I get hot easy, so I have to put it up. Um, the alternative I've been using right now is this deer antler, or uh, this antler bone, or antler. Um, it was naturally shed, so nobody needs to freak out. Well, I guess you would freak out of a penis bone first. Um, this seems to actually work a lot. Those work well, but my hair is so thin that it, um, it like, kind of, um, falls out a little bit. I need to pull it in thicker, but it hurts my head, so this works for me. Anyway, getting off subject. I was going to wear this in my hair to see what kind of, um, see if it actually would bring me something if I used it myself without being given as a gift. Or, um, and also just to see what kind of comments I can get out of it. Um, I did not, though. So, um, also, uh, if you wrap a $20 bill around a penis bone, it said it should be used as a gambling charm. I always feel like there's so many gambling charms in hoodoo. Um, people in southern states um, must really be into gambling, I guess. Uh, gambling's not really a huge thing. I mean, it is a thing here. You can only go to Indian reservations where I live to gamble. I don't like gambling, though. I don't really gamble. So, I don't want to post to it, I'm just it's not my thing, so I wouldn't use it for that. Um, so, yeah. You can, I have one on my site right now. My $4 because I paid, I did not buy these wholesale. But it's been hard for me to find them um, anywhere that I can get them to supply. I only have two, so I'm only selling one right now and I'm giving another, selling another to a friend. So, if they sell them, I'll buy more. They're really interesting though. I've seen people make them, um, just regular amul amulets out of them. Um, 
of gold ones and silver ones on Etsy that aren't even the penis bone. It's just, um, it's a, I had a long day. I'm trying to think of the word. Just like a, um, another, it's, it's a fake penis bone, but it's made in the shape of a penis bone. So that it's, um, can still sort of bring you whatever luck or I mean love. Right. See, all my videos are rambly. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's my short little video on raccoon penis bones. Um, I'll post a link to my Etsy shop, shop so you can read about it a little bit better. It's basically the same thing I just said because I didn't put much on there. And um, you can see pictures of it and I would suggest you doing further research on it as well since it's pretty interesting. Hulu has a lot of interesting, cool things. It's one of the reasons I'm so attracted to it is that it kind of feels right with me but it also has so many things that are just like, are you kidding me? I could use that for this. And if this has been sitting next to me this whole time, I could use this and that. And I don't know. I just love it. So I'm going to go to sleep now after I take a shower. Thank you for watching my videos.